Hello, hola, bonjour, willkommen. It's time for Easter around the world. Today, I'm taking you to three locations to look at the different customs at Easter time. So let's jump right into it. We're starting out in America, specifically Florida. I'm a Florida native and here in my hometown, we have an Easter parade every year with beautifully decorated floats, bands, dancers, candy gets thrown out for the kids. It's a whole thing, we love it. Easter Sunday in beautifully decorated hats. It's another thing where who has the biggest, most beautiful hat with flowers and all sorts of decorations. Easter egg hunts, Easter egg rolls, people dressed up as the Easter bunny. We just love the Easter bunny, don't we? How adorable is he? Decorating the eggs, whether you are decorating actual eggs with dye or you have the plastic eggs that you're putting either little bits of candy or some money inside for the little ones this is another big thing that we love to do here in america but we're not the only ones as you will see further into the video our candies we love our candies whether it's chocolate bunnies eggs or jelly beans we can't get enough of that here which leads me into my first DIY. Let's make some candy. Okay, so for this DIY, let's make some yummy sweet Easter treats. I've got some milk chocolate Ghirardelli wafers and white vanilla flavored Ghirardelli wafers, egg molds, Sprinkles, rainbow sprinkles, um, glitter edible glitter gels, and some shimmering rock candy. So what we're gonna do first is, I think we'll go ahead, since this one's already open, we'll just pop some of these white wafers into a stainless steel bowl and do the um, double boiler method. And I'm not gonna do a lot. Do just a few of these and put them in the molds. And then after that, we'll go ahead and get the milk chocolate done. Okay, so my um, water is boiling on um, medium. And I'm just gonna stir these up around a bit as my pot heats up and they'll melt rather quickly. So while that's finishing up melting, I'll add a little bit of purple and pink sprinkles to this one. And maybe some of this rock candy to one of these that will um, have the chocolate. I don't want them all to be exactly the same. Okay, so now my white chocolate is melted and we can just add that right into the mold. And once I finish adding all of my chocolate to my molds, I pop them into the freezer for about 15 to 20 minutes until they were thoroughly set and then flip them out onto some parchment paper. a dinosaur egg or like a dragon egg. And some sprinkles. So one of each I'll just leave plain and then I'm gonna add some of this glitter gel.
yummy chocolate homemade eggs so tasty i'd love to know are you more of a chocolate person or are you more of a jelly bean person when it comes to easter candies Well, now that we've got all amped up on sugar, let's head to Greece to see what they do at Easter. Greece is known for many things such as their beautiful landscapes, gorgeous white and blue architecture, and the ruins. It's literally the lands of God and goddesses. The week of Easter begins on Palm Sunday, and there are church services every day commemorating the last week in the life of Jesus Christ. The evening services are the most well-attended, of course, and Thursday mornings, the service commemorates the Last Supper and the betrayal of Christ. This is the day that hard-boiled eggs are dyed red, signifying the blood of Christ, and the Easter bread called soreki is baked. On Easter Day, lamb is roasted. During the afternoon, the red eggs are brought out and each person takes one and hits it against someone else's until the last person who has an uncracked egg is considered to be the luckiest. I found this beautiful image of a Greek icon um, depicting the resurrection of Christ. So I went ahead and printed this out on my home computer and I have this rectangle. It's a eight and a half by 10 inch wood rectangle. So what I'm gonna do is mod podge this on. I want to keep this image to bring out every um, Easter time as part of our decor. And most of the icon images I've seen have had like beautiful ornate gold or silver and like jewels around them or they're like on big placards in you know, you know, beautiful churches. So um, I don't have a frame to put around this, but I do have this gold pearl wrap. So I think if I cut this into a single strand and just add a cute little golden border, it will just give a nice little embellishment. I added gloss Mod Podge to my wooden rectangle, smoothed out my image, and then I used my Mod Podge brayer to finish rolling out my image so that I could get rid of as many of the little bubbles as possible. The description for this image is that Jesus in the center has risen from the dead in his glorified body in true identity as second person of the Holy Trinity. He is part of the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, depicted by the blue almond-shaped mandorla that surrounds him. Jesus stands between two worlds, heaven above and death below. Under his feet are the doors of hell, which he has broken through. With great momentum, he is pulling Adam and Eve out of their graves and into divinity with him. The figures on the right and left of Christ are the righteous who witness to Christ's resurrection. They are represented by the prophet Isaiah and the prophetess Anna on the left and John the Baptist on the right. And once my image had thoroughly adhered to the wood piece, I added a ceiling coat with satin Mod Podge and then I trimmed around the edges. After I'd finished trimming around the edges, I took strips of the a golden pearl wrap and I hot glued them around the edge of the piece. Um, I really love the look that the satin Mod Podge gave to this piece. It kind of looks like it was done with oil paints.
And once I had completed my golden trim, I took four tower blocks and hot glued them to the back of this piece so that it could stand up on its own. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this resurrection image. Okay, so for this DIY, I have some uh, apple red matte folk art paint, a couple of Dollar Tree styrofoam egg picks that I'm going to paint red so they resemble the red eggs in Greece that are used for Holy Week and for Easter. I ended up doing two coats of the red and once they thoroughly dried, I added gloss Mod Podge to the eggs and once my Mod Podge dried, I used some rhinestone stickers from Dollar Tree to make a cross on each of the eggs and that was it for this DIY. And now that we've gotten a bit of Greek culture, let's head over to Jerusalem. Just like in Greece, for Holy Week, it starts Palm Sunday. Thousands of Christian pilgrims climb Jerusalem's Mount of Olives to reenact Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. Typically, the procession heads down to the Church of All Nations and then down the Via Dolorosa, which is said to be the actual route Christ took when he was carrying the cross. Many thousands of pilgrims take part in this procession, with many more lining the route to greet the participants with songs and blessings. Christian pilgrims proceed to the Holy Sepulchre, which is believed to be the original site of crucifixion and burial of Jesus, and then pilgrims raise candles lit from a flame, which is said to emanate from the tomb of the cross. Many people say prayers, write blessings on different parts of the church, and you can also go visit the site of his resurrection, and here um, is an image of what is said to be the tomb. And for my final project, I have something edible again. So um, from my readings, there's something called a Jerusalem meal and it's foods that would have been eaten around the time that um, Christ was in human form. So I've got hummus, pita, cucumbers, peppers, dates, and some grapes. And I'm gonna get this sliced up and put on a nice cutting board. And my completed meal here. Fun fact, before I made this video, I'd never tasted a date before and they're not bad. Wow. How did you enjoy our trip around the world at Easter time? I certainly had fun learning about different customs that happen in the United States, in Greece, and in Israel. We saw some sights, made some 
beautiful religious decor. Made some tasty treats. This was so much fun. Now, what you have to do is listen for each creator's secret word. There are four gifts up for grab. Three Amazon gift cards and one beautiful Easter basket. My secret word is chocolate. Put that in the comment section and you will be entered to win one of the wonderful prizes. Thanks so much for watching. Please enjoy the playlist. There are so many creators. I can't even um, you know, think of the places that they're gonna take you to see and what they're gonna make, but I just know you're gonna enjoy it. I wanna say thanks so much. I appreciate you. God bless you. And until we meet again.